Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to recover deleted files you might have on your Windows computer. So let's say you've deleted some files in the past and you want to recover them. This tutorial will be geared towards you guys. Now the first thing I would always recommend trying is opening up your recycling bin. If you do not have an icon on your desktop, you can always search it on the start menu. But we're going to open up our recycling bin first and we can see that there is nothing in there. If there was, it's very easy to restore an item. All you have to do is just right click on the picture or icon or whatever. You right click on it and then you'll click on restore and it would likely restore it back to the desktop or wherever you deleted it from. Now, I'm assuming most of you guys have already checked that, but that's always a good place to start. So once you verify that it's no longer in your recycling bin, we're going to navigate over to the internet and I'm going to start with Google because that's usually where most people's starting point is. And I'm going to type in Recuva, R-E-C-U-V-A. Then I'm going to hit enter. One of the best matches that comes up should say Recuva, restore deleted files even if you've emptied the recycling bin. This comes from the makers of Piriform. So if I open that up, you want to download it directly from them. That's always recommended. And if this looks a little bit familiar, it is the same people who make and develop CCleaner. So once we're on this page, we can download the free version by clicking on the download free version button. You want to select the free download. If you want to contribute, you can always buy it, but I recommend you just download the free version. And we can download it directly from their domain or from filehippo.com. I'm going to select from piriform.com just because I usually like downloading it from the maker's website. And then it looks like it's about 5.3 megabytes, so not a very big download. So I'm going to save it. So once it's done downloading, I'm going to run this file. It's going to ask, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? I'm going to select yes. So it says by installing this product, you agree to our license agreement and privacy policy. I'm going to select the customize button at the bottom right here, because that's typically what I do, even though this is a trusted program. And I'm actually going to just keep everything checked here. Doesn't seem like there's any third party programs that are being installed. So I'm going to uncheck this box that says review release notes. And I'm just going to go right ahead and run Recuva. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. This is just how I've always pronounced it. So it's going to say welcome to Recuva Wizard. I'm going to select next. Now it's going to ask what sort of files you're trying to recover. Now, if you really want to specify, this is definitely the time. For the purpose of this video, and you can go do further searches from here, you don't have to just do one search and you're done with the program. You can open this program back up and run multiple searches, so if you want to do one at a time, you're more than welcome to. I'm going to say pictures, and then I'm going to click on next, and it's going to say where were the files. So if they ended up in the recycling bin, you could select this. If they were in your document folders, you could search that as well. And you're more than welcome to search everywhere on this computer. And I typically would recommend that, to be honest. Once you've selected that, I'm going to click on Next. And then as a follow-up to this scan, even before you select other different file types, you can select this Enable Deep Scan the second time you run the scan, which should hopefully do a more thorough job. So you have multiple avenues to explore with this utility, which is one reason I really like it. So I'm going to click on start. This should begin scanning. This will take a couple moments. So it's actually pretty quick because this hard drive, I believe, is only about 25 gigabytes. So that's why it's running so quick. But we can see that it's already found some interesting items here. Now some of this might be garbage because I definitely do not remember these pictures. But let's say we switch to advanced mode right here which is the typical view that you usually see these files in. Look for something that you might recognize, like the name of the file. That always would help. So I'm going to select this star highlight.png, or it depends what you're looking for. And I should note that how the color is being distinguished here. The green means it's more than likely fully recoverable. The red means it's probably been overridden by other files on your hard drive because once you delete a file, it becomes free reign for other programs to overwrite 
parts of the file making it corrupt. And yellow, I believe, is partially intact, but it might not be fully readable. So keep that in mind. Usually if it's red, it's probably a lost cause. I'm going to select this green one right here. I'm going to check mark, box it in here. You have to check box the box right next to it. And then click on the recover button. And then you can select the location for the recovery. I'm just going to set the desktop. It's going to ask you, do you want to restore it to the same drive? And that makes sense if you had a corrupt hard drive or something, but we are not going to worry about that in this video. So I'm going to click on OK. So we see that this image that was at one point on this computer has been recovered. Now I believe this was related to some other program, but it just requires a little bit of focus to actually go through and check. It's a lot easier to do with documents. It's a lot easier to distinguish what file is what. So just if we actually open up the program after the first time we launch it, so if you wanted to run a follow-up scan, then you click on Next. Let's say we search documents now. Let's just say I'm not sure where they were. I'm going to enable the deep scan. And it's going to be a pretty thorough process, so this might take a couple moments. Actually, you know what? I don't think I'm actually going to let this thing finish. It's going to take quite a while. But I mean, I think you guys get the point. Uh, documents, it should have the file name and then the path of the file. So it's going to be pretty straightforward. And it, like I said, it will show you the file name, the path, and so forth. You have the checkbox next to the file you want to recover. Left click on Recover down here, and then select the path. Now this is not going to be guaranteed to work for everybody. The sooner and more recent you've deleted the file, the better likelihood you're going to be able to recover it. That's just a fact of life. But I do hope that this tutorial was able to help you guys out. And I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.